Hello my YouTube subscribers, I'm here with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Dark Horse RDA. It's been a while since I bought this, did the unboxing and uh, told people I was going to review it. So, I got a lack of furniture here so I'm going to stand here in my kitchen with my uh, janky setup and uh, do this review. Cue the intro music. Yeah, I don't have any intro music. So here it is. You can kind of see it on my kitchen counter. I got this thing taken apart here and I'm just going to show you the, the basic components of the Dark Horse RDA. I don't have a chair so I got to kind of squat to do this. So here's the base right here. It's three prong. There is the size of the well which honestly is pretty shallow. Really shallow. Here's this middle component, which confuses the living pissing hell out of me. Look at the airflow on this thing. You got three right beside each other. And then over here, you got this one fucking thing right here. And it goes right into the middle. You can maybe see my eyeball in there. Boom, there it is. And then, yeah, what the fuck. So this goes on here like this, like that. And then here's the Dark Horse logoed uh, other airflow, which you slide on here like this. And this creates your RDA. Then you have the top here. I don't have the uh, the tip with me for the the uh, drip tip, but uh, you got this huge bullet hole chuck fucking tip right here, which I thought is really cool. Which is made out of that uh, I forget what it's called, Delson or I don't know what the fuck it's called. And uh, um, either that or else it's a plastic and uh, whatever. It's pretty cool. Doesn't heat up, which is nice. Um, but I got to be honest. I really did not like this RDA. I really don't. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. Number one reason is the airflow. I, I'm fucking lost completely lost at what the purpose of this this style of airflow is now if I wanted to dual coil it I got these big big things right here okay that's cool I understand uh, that makes sense to me dual coil it you get these big uh, airflows what the fuck is the purpose of this one or this one if I wanted to line my coils up see you know we line our coils up like this right there we go that's a dual coil setup you can see um, the coils are going to be lined up like that, right? That makes sense. What the fuck is the purpose of this? Why, why are they like this? Now, I've asked questions and, you know, I've been told, oh, you can flip the, the sheath around and get different airflow. Uh, really? I guess. I guess, but look at that airflow. My God, I don't... I wonder if I can even get like a tight draw on this. Oh my god, that's super, super tight. I haven't tried it like this. Uh, I have no intention of trying it upside down. Because you're just getting... Let's take a look. These are, these are the big, big holes on the side. That maybe I can show you. Oh my god. Look at how much airflow is out of there. I mean, it's mostly the inner sheath right there. I don't think you can see it. But there are tiny little gaps. Okay. So the Dark Horse has these these three vents. The, the outer sheath has these three vents right here. And then on the opposite right here. That's normal. That's the way we, we do things. But, um, okay, so if I line them up right here um, on the big holes, you know, it's going to go through the big holes. But if I line them up on these this slice right here, um, okay, that's great, but what about this one? Well, it's all just steel. Okay, now if I line it up over here, well, it's the same deal because it's the same hole. It's just like 30 degrees difference. Absolutely mind-boggling about the airflow here. Um, I think I think this is just designed wrong. So I, I don't like it. You know, put the two big holes right there. That's cool. Maybe put, um, you know, if you wanted to have this this hole 
um, these slices right here, put one opposite that, and then if you wanted to have like a, a single coil right here, hole, sure do that, but what in the hell is the purpose of these? So this is the number one reason why I don't like the dark horse. It does, does not make any sense to me why the airflow is designed this way. In fact, it, it's, it's kind of upsetting that it's designed this way because I like, you know, I like to adjust my airflow. Second reason would be the well because the well is super, super shallow. It really is. I, I don't even know if I can show you just how shallow it is. Here's my uh, um, screwdriver, okay? You can kind of see where it angles. The taper is just just entering the the uh, um, the well I mean it's just barely in there so it's about as big as the the taper on my Phillips head screwdriver here so you can get an idea of how deep the well is um, I, I prefer deeper wells uh, you know I like the I like thick wicks because I think they provide a, a better capillary action they do their science to it that uh, the thicker wicks the tighter the wick is that just provides a better capillary action. You know, I don't want them too thick either, but uh, I like my wicks a little bit thicker. Um, so, I also like to, to put a little bit of fluid in there, which can kind of, you know, get kind of leaky, but that's on my end. You know, um, if I if I tip it, oh well, then um, the, uh, the, the fluid might spill out or whatever. You know, that's on my end. But um, with this, you can only put so much in there before it starts leaking out the side, and um, it, I don't know. It's just a, it, it, it's really upsetting. And then I think the third thing I really don't like about this thing is that there's really no adjustable airflow with this. When you when you get it all set up, you put this on, you put the sheath on, and then you screw this on, which um, locks the sheath in place so the only way to get you know adjust your airflow is to adjust the whole the whole unit this whole top sheath portion right here that's going to go over the base um so i really like adjustable airflow i like to mess around with my airflow and uh, uh you know sometimes i like big rips sometimes i like tighter rips and you know i i'm not getting that freedom from the dark horse um i can't i can't say i like it i can't say i'd recommend it either there are a couple cool things about it though uh it's it's an interesting building platform you know it's it wasn't an, an expensive rda um i really like that the the posts are high up uh, so um, that's kind of cool, you know, if you want to mess around with coils, I think um, this this kind of uh, RDA is great for messing around with coils. And maybe that's just where I'm missing it, is I'm not super into building funky, funky coils. I'm still rocking my parallel coil, um, absolutely loving the parallel coil. Um, so I'm not just f a fucking fanatic about the different types of coils yet. I think one day I will be. I'm just not into it yet. Uh, so the building platform is kind of nice. Um, and then this uh, huge wide chuck fucking mouth tube is, is pretty awesome also. Um, I like this, but I, I really feel like these, these vents on the side here on the sheath are detrimental to the, the whole airflow itself. I mean, you give us these big ones on on the side here. Why not just fucking give us like all of that? Why why even do that? I don't know. It's per, you know it's it's confusing. The airflow is probably the worst thing about this thing. So I'm not really going to be using the Dark Horse RDA. I'm looking for new ones. I'm still rocking my Haze. I really like the Haze RDA so far. Still rocking it and. Uh, Tombs. I love that thing. 
but I'm looking for a new RDA. So if you got recommendations for an RDA you want me to unbox, review, you know, leave me a, a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I'll definitely look into it. Um, last video I showed you a bunch of flavors that I got. Um, I am trying to adjust my strawberry shortcake recipe with some uh, cream flavors as was recommended. Um, so I got it right here, I'm vaping it, but I don't quite like it yet. I'm kind of losing some of the fruitiness of the strawberry as I add cream and uh, take away uh, some of the, the cake batter flavor. So it's kind of, it's interesting. I'm working on it, but uh, I think I'm going to have a new recipe uh, for strawberry shortcake soon. I got my peanut butter um, maple syrup French toast recipe that I want to share. But uh, I also want to adjust how I'm doing my recipes. So my next order from Wizard Labs is going to be uh, um, mixing tools and um, little uh, little vials. Because I'm, I'm kind of tired of doing the, the 24 drops, um, 10, per, you know, 10 milliliters at 8%. And I want to get more into uh, variable flavor uh, quantities. So I got it kind of mapped out how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do like uh, six milliliter batches of flavor after I get something uh, figured out and then fine tuned. Um, you know, then I'm going to start uh, doing like just batches of flavor mixtures in uh, little either three or ten milliliter squirt bottles and then fuck around with uh, uh, different um, flavor volumes, flavor percentages. And then uh, my recipes might change uh, how they're presented to be more of like a, a percentage of um, the six milliliters. So I'm kind of going with um, taking that, that 24 number that I use for 12% and then multiplying it by what? I think it was uh, five to get uh, five times the volume. So. I'll be working with bigger numbers, but um, I don't know. Could be a while before I get there. Not sure. I'm, I'm looking into it and uh, probably get some more flavors because uh, I've been asked, um, or I've been told, excuse me, not asked, I've been told that there's uh, melon flavors that people want. And uh, I want to do some melon flavors. Hells yeah. Let's make a bunch of flavors. So. Couple new recipes coming up in uh, future videos. Right now, I'm going to be vaping on this uh, strawberry shortcake flavor um, as much as I can because I really like it. And the cream, the cream I'm adding is is kind of adding a nice uh, mellow flavor to it, uh, which is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, until next video, bye.